My name is Emmerich Watson, founder of Wounded War Heroes. Uh, we've been doing this for about 10 years now, just getting veterans in the outdoors, getting them out, getting them out the house, and uh, just giving a little back to show them that uh, what they did overseas was uh, came came in full value. It was very very appreciated. Uh, four years ago, uh, we were blessed when Tony Fontenot came into our organization. Uh, he found us. We didn't find him. It wasn't long after Tony contacted us and said, "Hey." Uh, I want to put on a Tony Fontenot cast and Cajun fishing rodeo in Cocodry. We'd always thought about having one in Cocodry, but just never had the source. Uh, Tony did that, put a team together, put a committee, and uh, before we knew it, we were having our first annual. And he said, one thing is, uh, I want to do it with couples. I want these guys and these gals to, to bring their spouses to better enjoy the weekend. And uh, he, he taught us a lot about bringing the, the spouses to the events. Uh, since then, we're we're going into our fourth one. We're very excited about it. Uh, it, it it's now the uh, annual Tony Fontenot Casting Cajun Wounded War Heroes Couples Fishing Rodeo, and uh, we're just we're just so thankful to Ted met Tony, and he because we wouldn't have had this, we wouldn't have had a couples rodeo, and uh, we wouldn't have we'd been in coquetry with these fine veterans. Well, just to speak open about Tony, we were we were very blessed to find such a kind man that approached us and uh, learning more and more about him and just how genuine he was and uh, the, the so many people he helped and impacted. Uh, we want to thank his family and, and everybody associated with him that, that allowed us to have the time with him. Uh, I can promise you the time we had with him will uh, never be forgotten. Uh, the things he's done for our veterans, our heroes, will never be forgotten. And this rodeo will go on forever in his name and always helped veterans for a long time because uh, he wanted to give back to our heroes of this great nation. And uh, I can promise you, the cast and Cajun never took for granted what you guys have done and what you did. You got wag. Woo! Bull red. You got one two inch. We got three on. We got three on, a triple. First, first stop, Scott Robert Show knows how to put you on some fish. This is our third hookup. Got Ish over here on one, too. Big boy. Wags got one, Matt's got one, Ish has one. First stop, first cast, redfish action. There he is. Nice redfish in the boat from Mr. Sean Wagner. Should've brought my, uh, my boga grip. All right, we got one in the boat over here. What y'all got on, some perch? <laughs> All right, Mr. Sean, you ready? Oh, yeah. Congratulations, Mr. Wagner. Thank you. Good job. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's a bad boy right there, Matt. Good job. Congratulations, Ish. We had a triple hookup. Got all the other two in, got all three in now. Ish, let's, how, about, how about a picture with your, with your first fish, first redfish? Well, just, we're, we're so blessed to have had Tony come into our life uh, with his big heart and just how genuine a person he is. He wanted to give back. Two, two veterans, and uh, when he found us, I guess that was his avenue to do so. And from day one, it was, it was nothing to gain for him. It was nothing about him. It was what he could do. And uh, because of the people he knew and the relationships he had, uh, this fishing rodeo in Coquitry now is gonna become an annual every year. It'll be in his name. Uh, when you meet a man, you like, to, you like to judge him for the size of his heart. And if that was the case, uh, it'd be, It'd be hard to judge him because his heart would never fit in his body. He's, uh, he was so genuine about it. He didn't care about himself, about having, getting publicity from it. It was just he wanted to give back. And uh, from that, we'll have this annual fishing rodeo to give away or to provide for veterans for, for forever, for as long as we can. And because of that, we're so very thankful. And uh, without him or him stepping forward, this would have never happened. 
Welcome to the start of the 2017 Gary Powell Memorial Wounded War Hero Couples Rodeo in Cocodree, Louisiana. I'm here with the guys from the Marine Corps League in Homa, and they've donated this beautiful custom-made cooler. One of our lucky vets is gonna win it today. So get ready for an exciting half hour with Cast and Cajun. As you can see, the tables are full. Everybody's in line getting food. Now it's my turn. Now it's time to go fishing. Our prayers were answered when we found hungry fish at our very first stop. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Told ya. <laughs> I told ya. Get him in. All right. Get him, Natalie. You have a trout? I don't know. It's a good fish. Oh, she's going to follow him all the way around here. Let me grab this. Uh... Uh. All right. Right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. There's a dad there, Ish. Yeah. All right, Ish. All right, that was awesome. First one of the day. Right, we got him. Oh. He's done. He's done, That's Natalie. One, huh? oh, yeah, but just different species. A black drum. I don't know how much he weighs. I'd say probably 20 pounds. Get his head up. Get his head up. All right, give me some slack. Uh, and you! Yeah. Woo. For the day. So Natalie's got that bull drum, now she's got the bull red. I was able to save my wounded warrior, wounded war hero hat. It's a little wet, but keep my head cool. <laughs> All right, ish. I think you might have the new, I don't know. We're gonna pull out and check and see if the other one's bigger. I want to say a little bit to Tony's family, Miss Julie, both his children and the rest of his family. We, we just can't thank you enough for the time we had him. Uh, as you know, what a wonderful man. Uh, never met a more genuine person, somebody that uh, it was never about him or what he could get out of it. It was about what he could do to give back and uh, for that, we're just, we're so grateful and thankful and, and like I said, blessed to have Tony come into our lives and do what he did for Wounded War Heroes. Uh, without him, we wouldn't have this annual couples rodeo and definitely wouldn't be here doing this. And it was a lot of time he took away from his family and his home life to do this. And I can promise you, he's touched every veteran and uh, none of them nor our organization will ever take it for granted. Thank you. Without these people, we wouldn't be where we are today. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Woo! Welcome to all our heroes and their spouses to our fourth annual Tony Fontenot Casting Cage and Wounded War Hero Memorial Fish and Rodeo. The males fertilize the eggs, they float towards the saltier water, and the next day they hatch. They usually uh, spawn in the evenings, like from it's uh, dark until around after midnight. Then they smoke a cigarette after. <laughs> As always, we got to give a special thanks to our military, both our active troops and veterans. And we've got a lot of them here this weekend. So until next time, keep on casting.